Wow, we in that thing. No, hold on, I need this is lava. Yeah, I need this to get lava. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we have we good, boy. It's a little lag, but we good though, man. There we go, man. I'm trying to get everything set up, man. So we're going we gonna to wait for a little bit. Give some people time to come in for a second. But while y'all are in, if you're checking in right now, go ahead and drop those sin of the days down into the chat. That way we know what you was rocking. Me, I was rocking that lay impression. Bro, I'm telling y'all, man, if y'all don't have that one in your collection, <laughs> yeah, it's a trash will be coming soon. But I'm telling you right now, fam, for my... My two days of wearing it. Now, I've only worn it for two days so far. Hey, it's been great for you, boy. Man, I'm not going to, I don't want to say too much. I did get a couple of great compliments off of this. But at the same time, Hez, ah, salute, Hez. I see you. Appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you showing love in the chat, man. And for those who don't know, I hope y'all can hear the mic good. Let me know if we have any audio problems. I do have a mic, too. Let me know. We should be good. But for those who don't know, man, we do have First Impression Friday going to be coming. We got two new fragrances from Heads that we're going to be talking about. We're going to be going over Blue Dog. And then we're going to be going over Hurricane. Hey, both of these, I'm kind of, both of these, I'm excited to look into Heads. Hold on. My bad. I'm trying to get the light fixed. Oh. There we go. Yeah, man. Hez, hey, Hez got a way of doing winter fragrances, cold weather fragrances. So we're going we gonna to dive into it, man. We're definitely going to dive into it. But go ahead. Like I said, send it tonight. Let me know what y'all rocking. Hez, you sound good, brother. Hey, thank you, fam. I appreciate that for the show. Now, we got a couple of fragrances that we're going to be going over today. I got five new samples. We're going to be going over the Saruti 1881 line. Now, y'all already know, I got Saruti 1881 Signature. Amazing scent. Phenomenal scent. Leather, spices, woods. It's my type of fragrance. Definitely cold weather. Definitely something that you want to... I prefer. I prefer to rock that one during the night. It just has a nice seduction factor to it. Bad boy style. Very nice type of fragrance. So we have to dive into the other ones and we're going to see what it is. Now, y'all know a live stream ain't a live stream ain't correct. We ain't starting a live stream until we got the juice in the air. Definitely got a spark of cigar. We got the Olivia V, v series. Same one as last time. I really do enjoy this one. So we're going to rock out with this one again. And that's how we're going to do it. Yep. Okay. Remember, if you're just not making your way into the building, go ahead and drop them center of the days for me. Now, shout out to my guy, Chef Mo over at Chef Kent's. I'm telling you, Chief, I'm telling you right now. He laces me up with a lot of decants, fam. If I don't get it from Fragrance Lord, if I don't get it from Decant House, nine times out of ten, I'm going to Chef Mo. And he always got five to ten ml glass decants. He just had a sale, I think it was six for twenty. So that's how I got these. And then he also does, sometimes he'll do 10 ml decants as well, 6 for 20. So Chef Mo, salute to my guy, man. I will have his information down here somewhere after this video. So y'all can check him out and go holler at him. We're going we're gonna to spark this cigar, and then we're going to go ahead and get started into the video. Like I said, we're going to be going over the Saruti 1881 signature line. If you're still making your way into the chat, please go ahead and drop those center of the days. That way we can know what y'all was rocking. We're about to get started in a second. Oh, 
Okay. Raspberry. Ooh, raspberry and wood. Okay. Now that would sound kind of nice. I'm kind of curious to see how that raspberry and ooh would be playing out. Because I don't think I've ever smelled the raspberry ooh type of fragrance. Hey, you know, the only raspberry fragrance I got is raspberry electric. Shout out to Heads again. You know, this is not a Heads video, but we talking about it. So we definitely going to get it in. Heads, uh, uh, raspberry electric. Very nice. I've worn it a couple of times. Very nice. Definitely has that raspberry. Definitely has the citruses. Very nice fragrance. It's definitely spring and summertime for sure. Spring and summer for sure. All right, so the first fragrance that we're going to go over is going to be that 1881. Just the original. We're going to hit it with the classic and we're going to... All right, man, my bad, I got a phone call. I can't, can't stop that, you know what I'm saying? But Trying to make sure it's right. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into it. First one we're gonna tap into is gonna be the 1881 Saruti, the original. Now, got my notes over here on the side so we can contrast and compare. Going to do this straight like that, real quick. Nothing. Damn, this one got a lot of notes. All right, bro, hold on, fam. The the original in the opening, this thing got juniper berry, cypress, lavender, bergamot, carnation, galabanum, and LME risen. Bro, that's just the top. In the mid, this thing got vetiver, lang lang, rose, lily of the valley, and casa. I want to go like a cannabis. And then in the base, we got oak moss, pine tree, cedar, patchouli, pepper, musk, sandalwood. Bro, this, shit, this fragrance got a lot in it, fam. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we got because <laughs> I might need to get some, uh, I might need to get some, whatchamacallit, some coffee beans because this might be a lot. This shit smells so fresh right now. Very fresh. This has a very soapy feel to it, like fresh, soapy. Bergamot for sure. You can definitely get that cypress. You can pick up the lavender. That bergamot citrus is there for sure. I'm not really getting any type of sweetness. I'm just getting like a very airy, aromatic type of fragrance. You, like I said, you can pick up the lavender. You can pick up the bergamot. Very airy though, fam. This one is giving me a high soap quality type of feel. Extremely high soapy. This doesn't smell like something that I've smelled before. This truly smells like its own type of inspirational fragrance. Very nice, but I can't see this being, you have to be along the lines of somebody who's like business savvy to want to rock this. Maybe a little bit more mature because again, this is going to have that soapiness. So it's not really coming off in a playful nature. It's definitely coming off more serious, a great first impression type of thing. Like this isn't bad at all. This is a nice one. Just not mass appeal. I would not say it's mass appeal at all. But very airy. A lot of aromatics in this one, fam. A lot of aromatics. My gosh. Let's check out the comment section real quick. It's a lot of, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of aromatics in this one. But that cypress is really what's show, showcasing itself. That cypress and that lavender combo is really working up top and giving it that green aromatic freshness. Again, the bergamot kind of adds a little bit of youthfulness to it, but it's not too youthful at all. The bergamot is really just an added note in there, similar to the other things. Because I'm not even getting too much from the mid in this. I'm really just getting a lot of the opening. I'm not getting that lang lang. I'm not getting no rose. You would think that it would be a little bit more green showcasing in this one, though, just because, again, that cypress, the lavender, I'm picking those up. I'm not really getting too much of a veteran feel, so that's going to let me know that it's not really going to lean that way. It's definitely going to lean more green. 
I think that Casa is playing a part in that. Casa? 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 I, I think that's playing a huge part in this right now because it's super green and I'm not getting anything other than the cypress, the lavender with slight cues of the bergamot. I'm not really picking up much outside of this one. Not a bad fragrance, but not a great fragrance either. Definitely not a mass appeal. This, is, this would be one of those fragrances that you would have to sample first. Otherwise, if you try to blind buy it, it's going to be one of those that just sit on your shelf. And we don't like fragrances that just sit on our shelf. We like to have motion, fingerprints, you know what I'm saying? We want traction on our bottles. This one, you really got to be a fan of that soapy feel, fam. The soapiness in this one is kind of giving me... It's kind of giving me Chanel Platinum Ego East vibes in a way. Or... If y'all have got y'all hands on Armoth Legacy, this one is a Chanel Platinum Ego Weeze type of fragrance. Definitely more so along the, along the lines of a twist, in my opinion, because it focuses a lot more on the lavender and it has an extremely soapy quality about it. This is definitely reminding me in the opening of Armoth Legacy. So if this is one that you rock with, you might be a fan of this Rudy 1881 as well. It's just for me. Bro, that shit's soapy, fam. Extremely soapy. And the good thing I like about this one is the lavender really cancels out some of that soapiness. It's still soapy, but it has other facets to it. This one is just soapy, fam. Like, hella soapy. Fresh soap, you definitely gonna smell good, but it's, it's just soapy. Let me rock in with the chat, see what we talking about. Joe Well is in the building. Shout out to my guy, man. What's up, Joel? Hope all is good with you, fam. Hope all is good with you. Paris Corner Cigarette Essence. That's the one that's in that small box. It has a white cap, like a greenish teal type of color. I know which one you're talking about. That one's on my list, too. But I want to get the celestial ones. They got three of them. You know the one that's in the tall? They got, the, I think it's a black, a green. One I'm supposed to be a gamete uh, twist. I want to get those next from Paris Corner. Those I have to get. So, but the way that little impression was for me this week, uh, Joel, I'm probably going to be diving into the rest of that line first, and then I'll make my way into those three from that Paris Corner because I need all three of them, fam. You know how I, you know how it is. Me and Joel kind of got the same taste in fragrances too. So, like if Joel say something is a green bean, Nine times out of ten, for me, it's going to be a green bean, too, because Joel really hasn't said anything to me that's just been off-putting. Shout out to my guy. And remember, if y'all just not dropping into the chat, make sure y'all drop them to the days. We only went over one fragrance right now, which was Saruti 1881, the original. Extremely soapy, extremely green. Nothing too crazy about it. Nothing too mass appeal. I don't think that it's one that y'all just have to go out and rush and check out. It might be good for some of my people that do like those extremely soapy fragrances. It's going to be high in that cypress. It's going to be high in that lavender. It's going to have a little bit of bergamot in the opening. Slight vetiver that's going to come out as it's transitioning to the mid. But outside of that, fam, it's just a, just a soapy fragrance. It's not really too much to it. Um, that one I'll probably definitely have to wear. That way I can give you all a full impression on what I think about that one. But off top, it's just not. Off top, it's okay. Shout out to M. Jim Show. Did I get that Kiss Smith Angel? No, I haven't, fam. I ain't gonna lie to you. The way that LA impression did, I'm definitely getting the rest of those, trying to see what that LV Private Blend is hidden for. And then, after that, I have to get the uh, Paris Corner Amir Sadrat. Not Sadrat, Amir. The three, man. They got a Gamine clone twist. I have to get those three next. Once I get those, then I'm going to, hey, it's free game. Y'all let me know what y'all want, but I got to get those couple out the way first because I think that those will be nice for y'all, especially for us going into the winter. Oh, when you was rocking that, hey, 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 big dog, hey, big dog, you had that toy boy on today? First of all, what is the weather like where you at? Because I still can't wear cold weather fragrances. I can wear a little bit going into fall, those transitional. But like cold, like my Saruti, 
1881 signature. I haven't been able to wear it yet. Bad Boy Let Parfum. Haven't been able to wear it yet. I just got to wait a little bit. You know, Texas ain't... <laughs> Texas ain't that fun on the cold weather fragrance of fuzz. How do you feel about TJ Maxx Milestone? I'll say this right now. I can't confirm this, but I am a firm believer that some of those unboxed fragrances that you can pick up from a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross, if you look at them, and then if you look into actual milestone and you look at the name of it, of the company who makes them, a lot of some of those are these Middle Eastern fragrances that we are paying full bottle, full presentation for. Like, bro, I got I got a rack store video coming out this week. Next week, I'm sorry. I might drop it this week. But if I was to tell y'all one of the fragrances that I saw in that store. Y'all would not believe me. I'm telling you, fam. I was surprised when I saw it because they're still trying to push this bottle, full bottle worthy, everything. Like, but I'm telling you, just wait till you see the rag store video, fam. You are going to be shocked when you see what I found in there. It's no niche, it's indie, but you're still going to be shocked, fam. I'm just letting you know right now. And I'm going to go ahead and say this with y'all as well. The Rack Store Fragrances, bro, this year has been one hell of a year for unboxed Rack Store Fragrances. Like, you, you really just have to go in there. It's hit or miss, but if you see it, if you see some, you're going to find some heavy hitters in there. Let me show you. I got one that I want to go get. I got, I got this one that I picked up. I'm going to save it for a video, but let me go get this real quick because I want to show y'all this one. All right, fam. All right, fam. So I know somebody asked for milestone. Hold on, I got one more. Hold on, where's it at? Got this one here. Here it is, right here. Okay. So these three fragrances right here are probably going to be like my rack store, scent of the year type of fragrances, bro. Like real shit, because these have been amazing. Um, The first one. Monarch Red Tobacco, fam. This one is like a massive red tobacco, of course, but it's just nice, fam. It, it, it's nice, bro. It's very nice. Longevity ain't really the best on this. Around five to six hours, but it's still nice. You get a good projection from it. It's nothing too crazy. This one, I've been checked out. This is the milestone one he's talking about, and this is Black Incense, so this one right here, fam, you got to be a fan of incense. You got to be a fan of velvet, for sure, because it's going to have a lot of those type of cues in it very dark extremely masculine like this is not unisex at all and then for a rack store fragrance bruh bruh pressurized atomology you gotta love it fam you got to love it and then this is the one that i just picked up fam and this was kind of complicated but this was called orient must now they do have another one that's similar to this but this one's called orient must and i must tell you fam Extremely musky, but outside of that, you really don't pick up much, fam. This is like a true, like, Middle Eastern, airy, spices, musk. It's just one of those type of fragrances. They do have one more. I don't know the name of it. But once I get that, I think I got all three of the ones that they have that's from this velvet line. And then I'll be set. But I'm telling you, if you're able to find these, these are actually pretty damn good for what you're picking up and what you're paying. This one's $14.99. I think this one was $12.99. If I had to choose one, I'm definitely choosing the black velvet. But the Orient Musk is not too bad either. I hope that answered your question, brother. I really hope it did. All right, all right. Let's see what we got back to the chat one time real quick. 70. The fragrances at my rack stores are pricier than a discount. Damn, that's hey, that's terrible, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, man, because I ain't going to lie. Like these right here, 
these are much cheaper in my rack stores than it would be for me to buy it online. Much cheaper. They're like 15 bucks in my rack store. Online, I think I saw them for like 30. I'm cool. I'm going to stick to the rack store. I'm All right. Now let's keep it pushing. We got four. Well, we actually got three more because I got 1881 signature. And I already know what that one is. No, y'all y'all know that. <laughs> That's me all day. That's me all day. But let's get into uh black. Hold on. 1881 Saruti Black. Now, this one I was thinking about saving for last, but let's just go ahead and dive straight into this one because I'm a big fan. I'm hoping that this one's dark film, dark leather, maybe a little bit like a fresh spiciness, spiciness to it, but okay, okay, okay. I think this one we gonna be, I think this one we gonna be nice with, fam. It has one note marzipan. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. I, I, I have not smelt the marzipan note in none of my fragrances that I know of. So it's gonna be very nice to see how this is gonna come out. Increase my palette a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see. Chef Mo 5 ML Decant. Shout out to my guy. This one is very nice, man. This one is nice also. Citrus is spicy lavender. I'm telling you right now that bitter orange, strong black pepper, lavender. This is nice. This one is not blended that well, though. I mean, hold on, hold on. This one. It definitely smells like it has like a red chili pepper type of spicy in that background. I'm guessing that that's what that caraway is. Have it, don't know too much about that. We got to dive into that one. But it does have nutmeg in it, but I'm not picking up too much of that spice. I'm really getting that true black pepper spice, that lavender. You definitely get that lavender up top. The bitter orange, you get a little bit of citrus, but it's mostly just pepper and lavender mixed with that nutmeg. And I'm not even getting some of that cedar either. Now, this one has oud in the dry down also mixed with some guac wood. I'm pretty sure that's going to come out in a little bit, but right now, I'm really just getting that pepper, lavender, and the nutmeg. Not bad at all, but it does have like a red chili pepper effect to it also. Like a redness about it. I don't know. Not bad. I would take the black. Hold on. I don't know, man. This original one is nice, but the original one is nice, but the original one just smells older like a classic gentleman like a gentleman type of fragrance like i can see somebody in their 40s rocking suits polos khakis might even be that dad bar type of person but this is a man that is maturing his ways just want something that smells clean that everybody will like that's really inoffensive to most noses like this this one is going to be very inoffensive to a lot of people Whereas the black, yeah, this black one would be hit and miss for people around you. It would be hit and miss for those people around you because I would like to say that it's that caraway note that's given that red, almost like a chili pepper type of effect. I don't know another way to explain it, but it's just giving me like a red chilliness to it, man. No, excuse me. Not really getting too much of the cedar. Not really getting too much of the oo. I'm really just getting that black pepper, lavender, <coughs> and some nutmeg. I was wishing this one had a little bit more to it. You seen the stronger with you clone at Marshall? Damn, I think I did see that one. I'm telling you, I got a rag store video coming. And in that rag store video, my, I think it was my Marshalls had so many unboxed fragrances fam if you're near the dfw area and you're trying to find a great mall that has a lot of unboxed fragrances or just rack store fragrances grapevine mills mall fam they have uh ross burlington marshall's ross Burling ross burlington marshall's um macy's backstage Sex off Fifth Ave, like, bro, they have so many affordable fragrances in that mall. Great Buy Mills Mall, if you're in the DFW area, that's one of my favorite malls to go to outside of the Galleria. 
you can definitely go there and try to find a lot of rack store unboxed fragrances. And I would say go to Marshall's first because Marshall's is going to be the one that I look at when I first go to that mall. Because I'm not able to spend my whole rack store budget at that Marshall's alone. Sometimes the sex off Fifth Ave, that might have a couple of things. That's why I got my Essential, Aqua Essential. I got this one from there. They got some good ones. But I'm telling you that Marshall's and Grapevine Mills Mall, phenomenal when it comes to those unboxed fragrances. Another one, if you're in the Fort Worth area, if you're going more towards like North Richland Hills area, there's a, I don't know the exact, it's right, it's right in the same parking lot as the mall, but there's a TJ Maxx. That TJ Maxx probably gets some of the best unboxed fragrances. But also, they also get a great amount of um, designer fragrances as well. Ones that are in the box, unboxed. That one, those two, can't go wrong with those two models. Definitely check those out if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area. You're trying to find a little bit more of those affordable fragrances from the rack stores, of course. Let's see what we got. My bad. I'm not trying. I'm not. I apologize. I'm responding a little late. My bad. I'm intrigued with Saruti image with that banana leaf. What banana leaf? Let me see. I don't know what banana leaf you're talking about, fam. I don't know. None of mine ain't got no banana leaf. Most of mine just have like the, well, this is the only one I have, but it has the 1881 on the back. And for most of the ones that I've seen, that's what they, that's normally how they have. What we got, what we got. See, Cam, I'm going to let you know right now, fam, don't try to just go. The, well, one, the best time to go to the rack store is going to be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because that's when they're getting ready for the week, but that's when they got that new shipment in and they normally start putting those fragrances out Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Second thing. I have so many rack stores in my area. I have been to almost every single one of them. And at this point, I really only go to a certain few now because I know that those are going to be the ones that mostly have great fragrances, whether that's some niche, because I've seen some Creed. I've seen some top-notch fragrances at these rack stores. Mostly TJ Maxx is going to be the one that's going to have like the Creed and type of stuff. But you do have to search around for those, like, I, I can't explain it, fam. You just got to search around. But once you find one that has fragrances that you're looking for, you normally stick to those couple because those are going to be the ones that's going to hit for you the most. But like I said, Tuesdays and third, Tuesdays and Wednesdays would be the days that I would check out if I'm trying to go to the rack store. Going to see La Tapa and rack stores one day. I don't know, fam, but if we do, I hope it ain't nothing that I got, because I would love to be able to buy some of the toppers and not have to worry about shipping and stuff, just grab and go, or even be able to sample and store. That would be nice. A former Celtics fan. First of all, what changed you from a Celtics fan? What are you now? No disrespect, but I'm just I'm, I'm kind of curious to know about that, but yeah, fam, got a little whiskey, got the whiskey stones in there, got an Olivia V series cigar. This is one of my Casual type of cigars. I do enjoy this one. I'm a um man. One day when I go to Cigar International out here in um that DFW, I might take y'all with me on that. I might vlog that one because that's one of my favorite cigar lounges to go to outside of Casa de Monte Cristo, downtown Dallas. I'm telling you, phenomenal. Both of them are dope. Let's see. All you need is love. Is still your top life. Hey, it is not. I wouldn't say it's my top for life, but it is in my max 30. 30 fragrances for life. This is one of my max 30. It's just it's just nice, fam. The apple note, very similar to um uh what is it? I think it's Dolce & Gabbana Absolute. Very similar, fam. Not it's a it's a good one, man. I rock with it. It's not my it's not my middle, it's not my favorite Middle Eastern for life, but it is up there for sure. It's definitely in that list. <laughs> hey, I respect that. A former 
Well, Farmville Celtics, man, I, I respect that, fam. I, I get what you mean. I get hey, at least they blowing it in crunch time. Like my team, the Texas, we ain't nowhere near close to winning some shit right now. So I'm gonna have to take a shot just because I'm feeling sad about that already. All right. Right, get up. Damn, I wasn't trying to get that to drop. All right. Back to the fragrance at hand. Hey, Joel, if you know, you know, fam. Look, I know y'all said top 10 for life. Y'all, if y'all know me, y'all know me. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I talk about these two a lot. Kashabi from Latafa, top 10 for life. You have to like woods. You have to like citrus. If you're a fan of Lacoste L1212 Blanc, think of that, but with a little bit more focus on woods because all Kashabi means is woods. This one right here, top 10 for life, easy, dumb reach. I can grab and go with this one. Shahari, dog, date night, out of this world, fam. Spices, incense. This is just my speed, fam. This is my speed. I could rock this all day. If I had only one fragrance for date night, I could get away with this one. Cinnamon, spices, very lovely, man. I could just, I could rock this one all the time in the cold and be perfectly fine. Damn. Hey, do me a favor, man. Say some of the questions. Say some of the questions. We still got two more that we're going to go over. I'm going to do these quick. But definitely say some of these questions because I want to I wanna make, make sure we get some nice interaction going on. Uh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead. Now, we're going to go into Essential. Saruti 1881 Essential. This one looking like... Oh, this one looking like a citrus bomb. This one is looking like my type of fragrance. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let's get into it. All right. I, bet I can smell the citrus is already very clean. This one coming off like a um, like an Hermes type of fragrance. In that vein, very fresh, very uplifting, high on citruses, very green. Yeah, 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 man. This one's nice. This one's nice. A lot of citrus is up top. I'm looking at the screen right now, and just in the open, you have mandarin orange, bergamot, citruses, grapefruit. That's all the opening, and I'm telling you right now, that's pretty accurate because I'm not, I can't really pinpoint a particular citrus that I'm getting. I just know that I'm getting citruses. But what I can tell you that I'm getting is I'm getting that citruses, the pink pepper, because it does have a nice spice to it, but the spice isn't dominant. The dominant thing is actually that artemisia that's in the mid. That artemisia and basil working together, mixing together with the pink pepper and all of those citruses up top. Very nice. Thing. This might be the best one so far. Might be the best one so far. Let me go back to black one time, because I was really rocking with black, but yeah, best one so far. Best one so far. Best one so far. Best one so far for sure, fam. This one's the best one for so far. And this is essential. This is essential. Yes, 1881 essential. This one's nice. Now, even though that this one, I would consider this one the best one so far. This one is still not one that's just mass appeal. Still. All three of these fragrances that I've tried so far, they have not been blonde by worthy, but they have been good enough to where you can get a sample, a decant, 5ml, here my guy Chef Mo, 6 for 20. They have been decant worthy to see if you actually like it, but I would not recommend going out to buy a full bottle of these just because, again, we like our bottles to have fingerprints on them. We want usage, we want miles. We don't want no dust collected. These right here that I've smelt so far, all three of these from the original to black to essential, for the most part, could all be dust collectors. Just letting you know. But it's not bad, fam. This, this one, this one essential isn't bad. You definitely have to be a fan of those aromatics. 
You're not gonna you're gonna pick up the citrus, but the citrus is not gonna be the dominant note. The dominant note is gonna be that artemisia, that basil, the pepper, the pink pepper is gonna be the secondary. The third is gonna be those citruses. Now it does have vetiver, cedar, and oak moss in the base. You can kind of pick up the vetiver, but it's not too much. It's more so the other notes that's in the mid and the top that I'm really picking up right now. Nothing outside of that. Danny Bell is in the building. Shout out to my guy, man. Hey, salute to Danny. I, bro, I'm going to have to start making some mods, man. Because I, Joel, you, you might definitely be a mod. My God, Danny. <laughs> Both of y'all might be mods for sure. Y'all always in here. But right now I'm on um Essential. So Rudy 1881 signature, Danny. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um let me see, let me see. Yeah, fam. Yeah, fam. So just to give y'all a recap over the three that we went over so far. We went over the original. Yeah, but it's extremely soapy, high on that lavender. You have to be big on those aromatic type of fragrances. You have to be big on those fragrances that almost have like a soapy feel to it. Black isn't bad, but it has like, bro, if I'm just being honest, Saruti 1881 Black is reminding me somewhat of um Alpha Romero Black. I have that one. It's a rack store fragrance. I picked that up a while ago. It is literally reminding me of that one. If you have that one, you can go with that one. If you don't have that one, you can go with that one because that was going to be a lot cheaper than buying Saruti 1881 Black. But it's not bad, man. It's not bad, but it's not mess appeal. I don't think the child should just rush out and go get this one. Definitely sample this one. Essential. Essential, man. I'm telling you, essential is nice, but it's still not in that vein. Excuse me. It's still not in that mass appeal vein. I don't think the child just need to rush out and go get this one. Take your time with it. Don't just feel the need to consume this one. This one isn't bad, but essential would be the one that I would buy out of all three that I've sampled so far. So Rudy 1881 Essential is definitely the one that I would buy right now. All right, let's check into the chat. Let me get my cigar. Let's check into the chat. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I think this cigar might be a little dry, man. I keep having to light it. It ain't really puffing like I wanted to puff. I don't know, man. See what I'm saying? Danny, that's the only one that I did not get. He did not have Sport available. Otherwise, I would have gotten that Saruti 1881 Sport. Because I think I've heard you say some things about it. But again, my God, Chef Mo, that's the one that he did not have. Um, you told me you told me to buy that coach from man when you told the story about the little kid and her family complimenting you on it. Hey, what you think about it, man? What you think about it, fam? For me, that Coach Smith, that's truly like an OG. It's just a nice fragrance, fam. You really can't go wrong with that one. Like, it's very nice. It's easy to wear. Simple. Just throw on. You really don't have to have an occasion for it. You can just grab that one and go. And I'm telling you, even to this date, fam, that compliment that little girl gave me was the, <laughs> it was the coolest compliment I've ever received, fam. I'm telling you, she wasn't like, she wasn't no more than 10 for sure. And she just looked up. You smell nice. <laughs> hey, we was up, bro. We was up. She she definitely made my day my week. I was happy about that one, man. But, hey, I was happy about that one. 1881 Black apparently smells like Carolina Herrera Privé. Oh, no. C.H. Man Privé Carolina Herrera. Okay. So I have M Jim M Jim show, but I'm gonna just call you MGS if that's cool. Cause you, I'm just call you MGS. But look, my guy MGS. There's a couple of websites that I would check out. If you want a website that has the most 
of a single line. For instance, like this for this website, I went to Decant House. I was able to buy the whole Stronger With You line from one ML all the way up to 10 ML samples. I don't think it cost me no more than 40 bucks for every single one of them. I will say this though, you have to be okay with simple presentations from them because their prices are extremely cheap, extremely affordable, great prices. I would recommend most people to but understand your presentation is gonna be simple, fam. If you somebody that's big on presentation, I would not say check them out because they're gonna they're gonna give you some simple presentations like this. My guy Chef Mo, Chef Kent, he's on the Facebook group. He does these type. These are five emails. He also does 10 emails. These are these are nice. I really do rock with these. And he always has great prices. Five for uh six for 20 on five mls or ten mls he has middle leases he has designers i think he damn near got everything but niche so when it's certain fragrances i do hit him up first to see because the best price would be with my guy chef mo another one this will be the last one the third one that i would recommend is this website called fragrance lord now with them They do everything from niche, designer. I don't think they do Middle Easterns, but a lot of their decants come in these travel sprays. Twisted Cap 8ML. Very nice film. And for the price that you can get with these, this is around, I think the, both of the ones that I got were around eight bucks. For an 8ML travel spray, Twisted Cap, fam. You cannot beat that. And even if you go to their website, they have some. Like, I think they have a Mount, Silver Mountain Water. I think that one's like 18 bucks for an 8ml sample. I don't think that you're going to be able to beat that price, especially when it comes to their niche. Because they have Bond, they have Amouage, um, they have Creed, they have Par well, they got Parfums de Marley. Fragrance Lord is where I would go for my niche decants. Decant House and Chef Mo is where I will go for all of my affordable decants. Anything that I need that's just B.O.B., but I want to sample it, I'll hit up them too. That's that's just my recommendation. And I, I, one more time, I'm not getting sponsored by none of this. This is truly who I spend my money with when it comes to decants. What did you think of that Zara and Hawthorne? The Zara was cool. The Zara was cool. I, I still got that one. I actually did a video, but I messed up on the video terribly. So that's why I couldn't release that one. Because in that video, I had the Zara and the Hawthorne one-on-one. -on -one. But that video got messed up, so I had, to, I had to scratch it. Or smell similar to Dark Rebel John Barbados. I can see that. Nigel, say that name again. Um, the names of the decant sites are um Chef Cant, Chef Mo, Facebook him, Fragrance Lord, Ada Mel samples, these right here, travel, nice spray. You can always reuse these and refill it with your own other fragrance. And then decant house. Decant house is gonna be a much more simple, simplistic setup. But you're still going to get good juice, good quality. I would advise this. It just depends on what you're trying to get. If you want niche, I would go with Fragrance Lord. If you want more designer and Middle Eastern, I would go with either Chef Mo. Especially if he has a 6 for 20, 10 ml deal, I'm going with Chef Mo. If Chef Mo ain't got a deal, I might most likely be going with uh, Fragrance. Uh, no, no, no. Um, Decan House. I hope that answered your question, Nigel. All right, man, we got one more that we're going to tap in. And then any questions, we're just going to kick it for a little bit. I'm going to answer some questions. We're going to talk. And come, come get to know y'all a little bit, man. I'm going to get to know y'all a little bit. And y'all going to get to know me a little bit. All right, last fragrance we have here, 1881 Blanc. Now let's see. I I, I just I, all I I just need one of these to hit. I don't need all of them to hit. I just need one of them to hit to where it makes me want to buy a bottle. 
because I really had a lot of high expectation for this lineup, especially because of how this one hit. Bruh, I'm telling you, fam, when it gets cold again, I might wear this one for like a week straight. No bullshit. I might just wear this one for like a week straight. I might wear this one for a week straight, fam. I just, I'm, I'm missing my cold weather fragrances, man. I already know that when I'm walking around with those cold. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I might find my sugar mom <laughs> with this one right here, though. With where I work at, too, I'm telling, I might find me a sugar mama with that one. That, hey, that camera, that camera gonna have me right. But I'm telling you, you gotta be on it. You gotta be on it. Hey, you good, Nazu? Hey, MGS, you good too, fam? I got you. All right, now let's go ahead. All right, this is the last one here, and then we're gonna get into questions comments we're gonna sit down and have a conversation for a little bit and i'm gonna really enjoy my cigar and my liquor all right oh no man I'm, hey i'm rocking with this one now i'm rocking with this one blanc has mint in it and y'all know i love me some mint man the way mint comes off with citrus and this one has lavender in it and this one has rosemary extremely aromatic off rip now, I'm not really picking up too much of those citrus cues because it does have mandarin, orange, and bergamot in it. I'm getting a little bit of citrus. If anything, it's going to be that bergamot because it's not really coming off like orange. But that mint, rosemary, and lavender, those are the three things that's really taking over this fragrance. I'm noticing that a lot of the Ceruti fragrances are high on those aromatics. A lot of them are extremely aromatic fragrances. A lot of them are extremely mature fragrances. From what I'm seeing, this line is not one that's for younger people. Like, if you're heavy into those Paco Rabanne type of fragrances, this is not going to be a line that you're going to want to dive into just because a lot of their fragrances are coming off much more classy, much more like a modern man, like a modern businessman in a way. All of these fragrances, I would feel great if I had a suit on, whether it's a suit with a, uh, with a button-up or just a t-shirt, like a like a nice t-shirt type of thing, whether it's casual suit or actual business suit. These fragrances really come off as somebody who would be wearing a suit. Damn near Kevin Samuels. But this ain't on that Kevin Samuels level, I can tell you that right now. This one is probably the best one. This one, Blanc, it would be a tie between Blanc and Essential. If I'm just being honest, I think it would be Blanc first, Essential second, Black third, the OG fourth. Out of the four that I've tried right now, that's kind of where my list is because, yeah, it's just it's just not it's not hitting. This line is good, but it's not hitting like that. Yeah, if y'all if y'all have y'all desires to try any one out of these fragrance line out of the Saluti line, I would advise decanting it first. Unless you just really like what you heard, then definitely go ahead and get it. But for me, they would have to be sampled first. They, if, even if I was watching this video, yeah, I, yeah, I would have to sample it from from what I'm saying. Let me check the comments, see what we talking about. Dior Sauvage Extreme, Blanc. Bro, I don't know, man. Joel, I don't know about that one, fam. Like, it's nice. It is nice, but it's not. See, my 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 God, Danny, he's real big on that old Sauvage. He's, I think, if I'm correct, I think he said that was one of his favorite fragrances. Hey, I don't know. Joel might be able to speak. I mean, um, Danny might be able to speak to that more so than I am, because I'm not. Yeah, old Sauvage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, surprise! You're talking about the one I know. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Danny, that's one of Danny's favorite fragrances. He'll probably be able to attest to that more so than I can. Cause right, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I don't know about that one. Did you get that tobacco or suits? I did get tobacco. I wasn't a fan of it. Tobacco has tobacco and peach in it. I hate peach. I'm cool with tobacco, but I hate peach. 
And the way that peach was coming off, it was just too sweet in that peach sweetness to where I could not rock with it. So that one, I, I did end up trading. I forgot what I traded it for, but I'm pretty sure that, that one I traded for a different fragrance. So I had it, but I got rid of it a while back just because that peach note. Okay, Nigel. Habib, what you talking about? What's that be? I think I know. I think I've seen that one. The only one that I've got recently from an indie house was Aza. Aza Perfumes, and this is their Blue Saffron. This was okay, fam. Like, again, when I heard of Blue Saffron, I was definitely thinking that it was going to be like an aquatic, spicy fragrance. It was not aquatic. Wasn't that spicy? Like it was okay, but I would have much rather preferred a sample of this one than a full bottle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It still has that Middle Eastern spiciness to it. Not bad. Definitely not bad, but I don't know, man. This fragrance ain't bad, but like I said, you just when you hear blue saffron, you think of aquatic. And it just doesn't have that. Not bad, though. Not bad. Nothing too crazy. Not that bad. Let's see what we got. Nigel, they have a saffron. Habib, didn't her, wasn't Habib that one fragrance line? Weren't they doing, like, um Discovery sets a while back? Because I think I remember them. I think they was doing the Discovery set. And I think they, um, they had an offer online to where they was doing a free Discovery set that you could have picked up. I do think I remember that house because that, that name is sounding very... Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Yeah, because they are sounding very familiar. So I have seen that one and I have heard of it. I just didn't take advantage of that that offer when they had it. I probably should have hopped on it from what it looked like you saying. Because it looked like you loving that shit. My man said, fall in New York. Hey, I'm telling you. Hey, hold on. Where mine at? Where's mine at? Hey, Nigel. Yes, sir, fam. This one is a good one, fam. You nice with it. Hey, this one probably been the one Middle Eastern fragrance that I picked up this year that I have been wearing the most, fam. I have been wearing the hell out of this one. Every chance I get compliments too, this one has that compliment factor. If you want a stronger with you DNA, definitely go with this one. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. How much for your tobacco, bro? Hey, NGS fam, I promise, I already traded it. A lot of my fragrances, if I have a fragrance that I don't like, that I know I'm not going to run through, that I almost have to force myself to spray, I'll go ahead and trade those. That one, I had to force myself to spray. So I figured it would be better off for somebody else than it would just collecting dust, because that one damn sure would have collected dust in my collection. I heard that Omega, Odyssey Omega is a weak YSL clone. I'm letting you know right now. I have no desire to buy another YSL clone. I'm telling you right now, fam. Unless it's by accident, because I'm just blind by Middle Eastern. If you want a YSL clone, fam, look no further, bro. I don't know why they even making them after this one came out. Because the only difference that this one has in it is I think that this one has a little bit more emphasis on that apple note up top. Other than that, fam, YSLY EDP all the way. I just, sometimes when I even, when I don't want to rock the EDP, because your boy got that one right here. This is one of the first designers that I bought because I fell in love with that much. When I don't want to rock that or it's not an occasion to rock that one, I pull this one out. Quick with the quickness, fam. No hesitation. Trigger happy with this one. Definitely trigger happy with this one. Uh, by the way, I accidentally ordered John Lowe Knee instead of Immortal. I'm going to order Immortal next because they say that Immortal is very similar to the let impression that I have. So Immortal is going to have to come too because that let impression. 
I'm trying not to get this review away that I got coming, but I'm t hey, bro. <laughs> that leg impression is fire, fam. It is absolutely gas. Premium 93. Go ahead and fill your shit up. It's one of those. That one's very nice. Now, I have heard that Mandarin Scott is a JPG scandal clone. I think that Danny was the first one to alert me on that. And then I think Joel backdoor. And then by that time, that's when it really started becoming available in the U.S. So, yeah, I definitely I definitely know about that. When I heard it, it JPG scandal was my shit. It's a bit, I got a decal of that one. It is very nice, fam. Uh... Virtues Vanilla Oud Fragrance World 65 6355 BDK Fragrance World Imperial. Damn, Joe's oh, just dropping all kinds of gems in the chat. Best Creed Events is clone because I'm tired of our mock, bro. Understand this right now, fam. I just I just started to be able to enjoy that Creed DNA. Like, I'm just now enjoying it, fam. At first, I had a, I had a, it took me a while to get over the the Club de Nui Intense because that was really one of those fragrances to where I can look like however I want to look. That fragrance will get me compliments. I'm used to myself being the one that gets compliments. Once I got over that, it's not bad, fam. As far as that Creed DNA, though, I don't really have no desire to try to find any more Creed, like, DNA. I'm sorry. I, I just don't, like... The DNA is cool, but once I found the ones that hit for me, I really don't see the need to continue to try to find different versions that'll be better. Because honestly, they say that the limited edition is probably the best one that you can get, but I like the original, so I just rock with the original. Nigel, nah, that Jack of Clubs is on my list. Honestly, the Jack of Clubs, and I think it's the Ace of Spades. I think it's those two. Those two are really high up on my list, on my radar right now. I definitely need to... Hold on, MJ. Let me see. Hold on, bro. Explain to me about Fragrance World, the one and only. Moonlit Night? Is this the one you're talking about? Let me know. I may get that Ace of Spades. Hey, let me know, fam. Let me know. Because I know that blue electric one, I got to get that one. Yes, give me the in-depth review. Bro, let me check real quick. Cause I, part of me think I already got a gas of trash out on now. Let me check real quick. It looks like I, only might, I, I might only have a first impression. Oh, yeah, I only got a first impression of that one. That one's going to be one of the ones that I definitely drop next week. I've been rocking this one a little bit, not too much, mostly at night. Because during the days, it's extremely hot out here, fam. I really haven't had a chance to wear it. But it is nice, fam. It is nice. I would say it is worth the pick up. Joma Shop has it for around 30, 40 bucks, I think. It's very close to Luminous Night. I have a decant for Luminous Night somewhere around here. I just, it's somewhere around here. I think it's in one of these backpacks. But I do have that decant for Luminous Night. In the opening, it is extremely close. I do think that in the mid and the dry down, it does do something slightly different. But again, I will have that full review coming, so no worries. I'm pretty sure that's part of my next week rotation as well. Yeah, yeah, Danny. I didn't do it. Oh, D. Deja, my fault, Deja. Deja Cole. I didn't do the gas, I didn't do a gas trash on the on um the one and only yet. I only did the first impression, but Hey, MGS, if you want to check, you can't check out that first impression. <laughs> hey, I think it was pretty good, bro. But like I said, gas and trash will be coming. Aquatic aromatic. Ew. That's a real good question.
Okay. Berry Cut Aqua Stellar. This one's very nice. Aquatic scent, citrus. Very clean. Damn, where's this shit going? Okay, very clean, very aromatic. This one is a nice one that you can get. Check out, check out um triple traders. And you might have to go on like eBay type of thing. I don't know. It's not too many places that still have this one. But if you can find this one, this one is very nice on that aromatic aquatic feel. Uh da, 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 da. you already know, especially if you're talking about Middle Easterns. You really can't go wrong with one of these two. This is El Cilio. This is Nausea. They're both um, Invictus type of twist fragrances, clones, I guess you could say. Those aren't bad. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I would probably, I'd probably recommend those two, especially if you're trying to find something that's along that Middle Eastern route. I, I'd, probably, I'd probably recommend those three right there. Hey fam, now let me show y'all the fragrance that I'm most eager to try this winter. Oh my gosh, fam. The Myth by Mason Alhambra. This is like their clone of like the Gucci Private Blend. I'm spraying this one on. Yeah, this is like their clone of like a Gucci Private Blend. Extremely nice, fam. Dark, wood, Ooh, but the main thing with this one is this one has a beautiful rose combination in it that this rose just works it's not a screechy rose it's not an extremely dominant rose the rose in this one is very soft and the way it gels together with those ooze those other woodsy facets extremely nice them i look hey hey yeah but i think this one right here the myth by Mason. I forgot which one. I forgot which website I bought this one from. But this one right here is is very nice, fam. Green bean for sure. I would. I damn near get a backup bottle of this one. I do enjoy this one. Ugh. Let's see what else we got. Did anyone in the chat get Jet Scent Blue Ridge since yet? Mm -mm. I haven't gotten it, but I have seen them. I forgot what fragrance, what mall I was at. There was a fragrance store that had it, and it was cool. It was cool. I don't remember it, but it was cool, though. Wait, where is Hawaii? Hey, now I on the cool. Hawaii is one of them. I didn't even think I had to just mention. You know what I mean? Hawaii is. Hawaii's is very elite, fam. This shit is in a league of its own. I can spray this on right now, and I promise you, my lady gonna come out the room like, yeah, what is that? Yeah, you own that. Yeah, you own one of those. This is a nice one. I rocks with, I rocks with Hawaii's. Yes, Hawaii's is, is top notch. Hawaii's is top notch, fam. Hawaii's could really, bro, if I'm just being serious and honest, if you don't have Invictus, you could damn near just rock with Hawaii's, bro. Hawaii's is really almost on that same level. It's just Invictus, just it just works for me, though. I ain't gonna lie, that that's my signature scent. It can just work for me. What else we got? Frag Bar in in Canada. There you go. There you go, right there. Frag Bar in Canada has Baccarat Aqua Stellar. This one right here is nice, fam. If you go, if you're the, especially like in Florida near bodies of water a lot or if you're somebody who spends a lot of time like you might work on a cruise ship bro this would literally be my signature scent i'd write this one all day every day danny but i just made a wild purchase and found a 100 ml of Guerlain long edl cool ain't that one discontinued bro how are you finding these fragrances danny like okay Cause you just keep finding stuff that are either discontinued or just extremely rare to find, my guy. You really are a fragrance connoisseur, I must say. It's really question for kind of unisex if you ask me, but it really is good if that's what you like. I don't know what y'all talking about. Hold on, what y'all talking about? Oh, you talking about the Blue Ridge? Okay, that's what's up. 
Same as EDL, but with mint. I like that. You know I'm a fool with the mint. You know I'm a rock with some mint. You know that mint is a hit for me. Let me know, man. Y'all got any questions? Drop them down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. Let me know if y'all got anything that y'all want to chop it up about. I got a few minutes left. I can definitely spend some time. So let me know what y'all think. I got two fragrances that I just um, did a first impression on. I did a first impression on CH Limited Edition. I will have that one coming sometime this week. I already recorded. I just got to edit. And then I have um, Cartier. What was that? Cartier La Flore. But I can't even pronounce that one. Cartier Declaration Hop Fresh. That's what I've been calling it because I don't know how to pronounce that F. But yeah, I got those two coming. And then surprisingly, y'all will also be getting a Nausea Tribute First Edition. I mean, not First Edition, First Impression as well. I just recorded these two. I have it coming. I just got to edit them up. Let me know which one y'all would rather see tomorrow. Would y'all rather see this one or would y'all rather see this, um, the Cartier and the Carolina Herrera? Whichever one y'all vote on, that's the one I'll drop tomorrow. Do you like the Latafa or Ard Al Zafron? I don't think I've tried that one yet. Hold on. What you just did slash said just answer my question. What was the question? What was the question, Joel? You have nausea and it's strong. Now, Nigel, let me ask you, fam. There's two, there's two nauseas. You have the OG, which this one is like a Invictus type of fragrance. Very nice. It does not have the body as a wasp, but it's not as sweet. If you're more mature and you but you still like that Invictus DNA, I would definitely say. Check this one out because it doesn't have that same playful nature. This one, y'all really just got to wait for the video. Let me know if y'all want to see this one. I'll have this one drop tomorrow. But this Nazi, I'm just, I'm, I will say this. I'm eager to wear it and see my thoughts when I actually wear it out and about. Oh, that's the one that you have. Which I think you might have the uh, the OG. I think you might have the OG. And Joel, what was you talking about when you said I just answered your question? Let me know. What advice would you give someone that wants to start a channel? And how many colognes do you think a person to start a channel? Okay. That's a great question, fam.